Today's video topic is opiates and opioids. Opiates and opioids are often used interchangeably, but they are quite different. They are both narcotics, meaning they induce drowsiness or numbness. They also cause feelings of euphoria. The difference between them is how they're made. Opiates are naturally occurring compounds, while opioids are made by humans and are fully or partially synthetic. Opiates Opiates are gotten from opium poppies. Examples include 1. Morphine, which is a prescription pain reliever used in treating moderate to severe, acute, and chronic pain. 2. Codeine, which is used to treat mild to moderate pain and also diarrhea. It's mixed with other drugs and pain relievers like acetaminophen or cold medication. 3. Opium, which is made from poppy latex, the milky substance in poppy pods. It is a sticky and smelly gum and is sometimes eaten or manufactured into powder or syrup that's smoked and then made into pills. Opioids Opioids are usually semi-synthetic or synthetic. Semi-synthetic opioids are usually produced using opiates in a laboratory. Examples include 1. Oxycodone which is chemically similar to morphine and is used to treat moderate to severe acute pain. 2. Heroin, which is a substance made from morphine. It is usually injected, snorted, or smoked. 3. Hydrocodone, which is a lot like oxycodone, is mostly prescribed to treat long-lasting moderate to severe pain like cancer pain. 4. Hydromorphone, which is chemically related to morphine, but is a lot more potent. It's used for moderate to severe pain. 5. Oxymorphone, which is a powerful opioid similar to morphine and 12.5 to 14 times more potent than oxycodone. It is used only for moderate to severe chronic pain. Synthetics Synthetic opioids are lab-made substances that act on the body's opioid receptors and produce the same effects as opiates. Examples include 1. Methadone, which is prescribed to treat pain and is also used with counseling and other therapies in medically assisted treatment for opioid use disorder. 2. Fentanyl, which is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine and is used to treat severe pain after surgery or for people with chronic pain who have a tolerance to other opioids. 3. Tramadol which is used for moderate to severe pain and is sold under the brand name Ultram. Does one carry more risks than the other? All opioids and opiates are controlled substances in the United States due to their high potential for misuse and risk of dependence. When taken under medical supervision, opioids and opiates can be safe tools for pain management. However, with all opiates and opioids, the dosage is everything. The higher the dose, the higher the likelihood of harmful side effects. What about fentanyl? There have been recent upticks in overdose deaths related to synthetic opioids like fentanyl. So many people may assume that synthetic opioids are inherently dangerous, which is a bit different from the pharmaceutical fentanyl. Pharmaceutical fentanyl is made in regulated labs and is labeled with dosing information and instructions for use. However, illegally manufactured fentanyl comes from unregulated sources. It's found in pill, liquid, and powder form, and usually without any kind of information about its potency or dosing guidelines. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.